time for another Tyrannus Tips video. Today, we're going to be talking about tie rod placement and minimizing bump steer. So what is bump steer? Bump steer occurs when you hit bumps. Um, <laughs> your, when your suspension compresses or extends um, from its resting position, you'll find that you get a little bit of toe in or toe out on your wheels without having to put in any steering input. It's almost impossible to fully negate bump steer, but there's a couple key things you can do to try and minimize it. So there's a lot of factors that go into bump steer and what causes it and how to negate it, but for the sake of go-karts and keeping it rather simple, I'm just going to talk about some of the really easy key factors that you can keep an eye on and design for that are going to help you minimize your bump steer. The first one being is when you install your steering rack and your tie rods, you're going to want to try and keep your tie rod as close to parallel with your A-arms as you possibly can. So as you can see here, my A-arms are on a slight angle and my tie rod runs on that same angle. And what that's going to do, as the suspension moves through its travel, we're going to be trying to keep everything lined up and moving the same amount um, and not introduce any kind of confusing geometry. The second thing that you can try and do to mitigate bump steer and minimize you know, those extra steering inputs that you're not asking for is to try and keep your tie rod length, so from where it connects to your steering rack in here, to where it connects to your knuckle over here, as close to the same length as your A-arms actually pivot on, okay? So you can see here, my A-arm pivots here and here is where it connects to the knuckle. And you can see that my tie rods connect here about an inch off, but it's pretty close. And then here, uh, which again, is about an inch off, but pretty close. And the reason this is offset here and not completely in line is to deal with something called steering acrement, which we're gonna make a video on um, as well. But for this one, we're going to keep it really simple. As you're designing your suspension, try and keep your tie rods in line perfectly with your A-arms, that is, uh, parallel to your A-arms, and try to keep your tie rod about the same length, if you can manage it, as your actual A-arms themselves. Like I said, there's a lot more that goes into this stuff, um, but we're going to keep it simple for this one. If you guys have more questions, feel free to ask and I'd be happy to do a more in-depth video on bump steer. But, like I said, for the sake of go-karts, these two main considerations are usually enough to keep you at a pretty acceptable level. So, there you go. Well, there you have it. That's the quick and dirty of it, at least. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit your little notification bell. Um, we do these Tyrannus Tip videos once a week in addition to weekly build vlog episodes that we release on Tuesdays and we got lots of content coming. I'm going to be doing more videos on specific aspects of front end design and like I said, if you guys like the really in-depth stuff, I'm more than happy to do that but try to keep these nice and simple and straight to the point. So, we'll see you guys on the next one.